Hello, I'm Joe Dillett. I'm working on a uh, carving. Uh, this is a relief carving uh, for a gun cabinet. The customer has a Tommy gun to put in this cabinet. It's a shallow relief and the scene is going to be John Dillinger robbing a bank with the FBI chasing him. So going from left to right, that's Don John Dillinger coming out of the bank there. Uh, I have a Tommy gun in the center and going over to his wanted poster and then the FBI is chasing him and the FBI office is in the end on the right side. The uh, drawing I've transferred, uh, I'm using a carbon paper underneath and I'm transferring it to the directly to the wood to the black walnut. Now that I've got the uh, markings on there I can take a marking pen and darken it and then begin the carving. So the drawing is put onto the walnut and I had to shift the drawing down a little bit because the rabbit, in other words this, there's a, a lip under here, so it's quite thin right in about this far. So I had to pull the uh, drawing down because I can't carve up that high that will weaken that area. So my carving will be starting right about here and working down. So uh, to begin with, we're going to start with uh, V-Tool. This is a 60 degree V-Tool that I'm using. That means that the wings are at a 60 degree angle. And uh, I'm just going to take a mallet. I've got a 20 ounce mallet that I'm going to use and that's what I'm going to start my stop cuts. The stop cuts I outline around the drawing. And when I'm coming down here, uh, I'm going in this direction to get a smooth edge up against my drawing. Because the grain's going this way, it won't chip out into the drawing. The chipping out will be done on this side. I am stopped here when I got down to this area because I didn't want to have this detail on top chip off. So I'm going to put a stop cut there just a kind of a plunge cut so my chip will end right there. That's how to keep it from chipping out. Then I move up, get through the top of that detail and it can come down here. My uh, board is in the way I need to come from the bottom up. So you see I'm staying a little bit away from my lines. So we begin by taking the stop cut and making it all the way around. Uh, this time I'm going to outline the Tommy gun. To keep that from breaking out, I need to come with my stop cut up this side, and that will stop the breakout like that. I don't need a stop cut here because the grain is going this way, it won't chip further because of the direction of the grain.
So I've stayed away from the lines a little bit. Now, after the stop cut is all the way around, the next thing is to remove the stock. And I'm mindful of this thin area, so I'm going to make sure I don't go above that area there. I'm taking the chips out right down to the bottom of the stop cut. Then what I will do is I will go around and make the stop cut deeper and I will uh, then go back with the gouge to remove the background until I get down to the desired depth. Now this is a shallow relief which means I'm not going to be going very deep. The uh, wood is only about three quarters of an inch thick. Uh, what is important in any kind of relief carving is when you are putting in the stop cuts to make sure that your stop cuts end up being vertical, not fanned out. So you have to lay the V-tool on the side so the wing is vertical. If you don't make the stop cuts vertical, what's going to happen is when you start cutting down the and rounding off the, uh, let's say, uh, the Tommy gun here, uh, things like this barrel is going to get too fat. So when you made the drawing, you drew the thing just as it should look, and you don't want to expand the thickness of everything. So in the end, where I w went away from the cutting, uh, the, the line, I have to come back and come right up against that line and I have to make sure that the wing is vertical so the cut is straight down, it doesn't widen out. Once I get the objects outlined, get the background cut down around it, then I con start contouring. And right now, this is the radiator of the car. And I know things go on this angle, down in that way, and down in this way for the back of the car as the car sweeps back. So I will keep these two planes going back now right down to the bottom here that radiator is recessed back a little bit there. So without doing the stop cut I'm just taking the corner of my chisel. I could have taken the V-tool and did the stop cut there also. Either way. This is the other headlight. Okay, now I'm going to come, the high point is going to be this corner of the radiator in the front of the car. And I'm going to start cutting the... So the stop cut I already made on the top of the fender, and I'm just coming right around the shroud of the hood right now. Okay, now in this area here, this is a deep area, so I'm going to take the V-tool define that right straight down. And then it comes right up because the firewall of the cab right here is flat going across the front. Now there's a little ridge on the hood where it slopes to the rounded portion. That line on the radiator, the second line, I'm going to take that off right now because I have to cut it down. Then I will come back and cut that line in so I can define the radiator. And I'm going to cut right down to the bottom of my stop cuts on the shroud of the hood.
So what I try to do is define the planes by making them very flat. If I rounded these planes at all, in fact, I might even concave it in just to make sure it's not rounded out. If you round it out, then you lose the whole definition of the plane there. Okay, now the firewall is going to go in like this. So it's a plane co coming shallow here and going deep to the bottom of the stop cut. And I will follow that all the way up. Now where this FBI guy's got a pistol here in his head and all of that, I'm going to take the windshield right down, but I can't take him away. And I may have to go a little deeper with that FBI guy. Now I want to get a little separation here from the hood and the firewall, the top of the hood coming back. I will redraw the windshield in. And then I have the whole top of the roof coming back. And I'm going to start in the back of the roof. Just because that's the way the grain is running. I'm keeping this edge here being high. And I'm just working it down. Just like the flat roof on the top. Except it's got a curve go in this direction. Coming, sloping down towards the front. Kind of like that. So I'm keeping my high points. This was a high point. The edge of the radiator was a high point coming around the top of the radiator. This edge of the cab, and uh, it gets rolled in a little bit on the bottom. It comes down to make kind of room for the running board. This bottom is uh, kind of rolled in here. And I'm going to take a bigger chisel because it'll make a cleaner cut. And work this plane back. So I'm going from shallow to deeper back here because it's sloping back the same as same plane is the hood. I don't worry about the drawing right now that I'm taking off the windows. Uh, I'm gonna redraw that back on. See, the larger chisel worked out much better for that wide plane. Then I'm going to take the smaller number three chisel and I'm going to do this fender and the running board. So coming right down to the bottom, and the running board is flat coming out like this. Now I'm going to have to cut the top of the fender in this direction coming down. And I'm just going to roll that fender off. I'm going to take my V-tool and cut these stop cuts a little bit deeper around the running board. that will define it just a little bit better. Come right down here. Because this body does get rolled under a little bit. Then I'm going to come right up around the fender to here.
Now I'm kind of recessing that tire into the fender a little bit and then coming around the back side of the tire. So I'm keeping these high points and after I have my planes pretty well established then I will narrow them down and get rid of them. So here I'm moving the light around just to see how the planes are on the building and uh, I have to flatten those planes off. It's pretty critical that the planes be quite flat to get the illusion that we're after as far as the structure of the building. Now this building is not a focal point so I just kind of want to have it in the background. This is the FBI building we're talking about. So by moving the light around I can see the how the shadow breaks on the plane so I, uh, it's easier to flatten it off. You can also see the car. The car is kind of a focal point. And uh, here we have uh, one of the FBI agents shooting a pistol out the uh, window on the passenger side. I'm going to cut in the hole here for the open window on the driver's side so we can see the driver. However, the windshield I am going to uh, not cut a hole in the windshield. I'm just going to outline around it. Kind of outline like I did here on the radiator. Uh, this car is moving uh, so I am not going to put spokes on the wheels because that kind of detail on the wheels would stop the action. So this car is going fast. On the other end John Dillinger's car is sitting still in front of the bank waiting for the rest of his uh, thugs to get in the car so um, uh, that will have the spokes on the wheels there. But I have to get the direction of these wheels pointed correctly down the road so it doesn't look like they're uh, turning so it's coming right in this direction. And I will probably be adding some lines on the road behind the car, behind the wheels here, to kind of help show motion, a little bit of a speed with this car as they're coming in. Right now I'm just looking at how the shadows are breaking here with the light in the position that it's in. And if I shut the light off, oh, hit the camera there, gives you a little different look. I'm trying to darken the shadows, the underside of the car in that, that's the, some of the deeper areas there. And the trees, I'm not putting much detail in the trees. Now the real focal point is this Tommy gun and that's right in the center. So I've got some detail here on this tree. Uh, I'm just adding the two trees, this, that one and this one over here, to kind of connect the scene together a little bit. This line here is the road that uh, is going from the FBI office down to the bank. So the Tommy gun is really the focal point in this whole uh, operation here. So I've about halfway through the piece of wood. It's a three-quarter inch piece of wood and I am about three-eighths deep all around it. So I really want that Tommy gun to stand out. Uh, after I do the rest of the detail on the trees and working further on, then I'll come back and start rounding off the Tommy gun, putting in the details.